What's up, Hydra Dragons here with episode two of episode two of the, you know, trying to build a city. And as you can see, I have my 15 castles. Not very leveled up yet, you know, mostly architect, working on getting those up to 100. So they kind of look comparison to the ones because those were ones I couldn't use in architect. So I got to level them up myself. But the farming is going well. I kind of slowed down on the instant return because I realized I was just wasting way too much time and effort sending them way out and then getting, you know, messages from players like, oh, you know, you know, you know, just anyways. But it's just crazy. But <laughs> getting messages from players because I took free castles and they're telling me the bounce and it's like, well, dude, you can you can beat. Two swordmen, just kill them. I don't mind. I lose swordmen all the time. <laughs> uh, actually, today, in total, in all my farming, I've lost 31 swordmen. So in all the efforts in gaining, you know, all this resource, which has come in... Uh, well, I can't... Right, which has come in, you know, fifty thousand, about 50,000 more to come, and already 50,000 or 150,000 has come. Which, of course... Right now, I'm just getting silver. It's, uh, it's just silver. And, you know, so... I don't have to worry about leveling up castles because that'll come later. I have a couple days while the free trade's going on to just build up all the silver I can. I'm gonna try to get enough for at least two forts so I don't have to worry about my first four forts. I can get those rather quickly, you know... And then have four forts kind of leveling up while I get the last one. Which I will be taking the six fort just to kind of add because I want to stack cities on top of each other. That's always your best bet is to just have multiple cities just right next to each other. That provides the best defensive value because, you know, you know, cities are the most powerful castle in the game right now they may add something bigger who wants something bigger than a city do you think that would break the game's stability already fragile stability or make it better i personally love the forts and cities because i think they add something to grow to back when the game only had castles it was kind of boring because once you maxed out your castle that was it you were done you just farm silver and there was no getting better from that point and maxing out a castle isn't even that great i think it gives you a total of 14 because my resource pumps were up the other day but it gives you a total of 14 extra per hour which is basically nothing but maxing out a fort gives you hundreds you know it's it's a little bit different so getting them up to level 27 though is the best in my opinion but and it's all there but people are just going and i would say get in here and do this find you a good spot and farm while you can because these holes are starting to fill in all these free castles all this free resources starting to just fill in so find it while you can you know what i mean Anyways, I just wanted to chime in with the second video. I don't really have any more to do. I'm actually going to do this for a little while. Because if they have a minute left, they cost one gold. And it's like, you know, why not? I can go ahead. Oh, my wood's max. So basically what I do is... Do, and I've been hitting this as... Let's see. Silver takes it'll take probably about 45 and if you ever want to find out how to use the bare minimum just do this and then you know you're using the bare minimum because it went down to zero because if you minus it and it doesn't go down to zero that means you still have space but you know and see 900 silver for that not even oh well i guess i was wrong it didn't work but it does for the most time. Most of the time it will work. It just didn't work that time. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fill in these even though... Well, actually, I have no reason to. Because... Because I'm just going to wait them out. The only thing I want to do is make sure when I, you know, sleep tonight... 
whenever that may be. It, uh, because sometimes I, sometimes I stay up, sleep during the day, sometimes I sleep at night, I kind of change it up, but I want to make sure it doesn't fill up, because all that is going to fill it up. Ten of those equals about 100, 1,800 resources, or estimating around 1,800 resources, because see, seven, three, and I hit them at the perfect time. They were just about to fill up when I came in for the second round, so I'm going to start that every day, because the only thing that's slowing me down now, and the reason why it's not at 100,000 anymore, is because I have to take out 60 carts. To get silver. And I have to do that very often. Because it fills up quick. But let's see. See that's 13 gold. That would be way total. Too much of a waste. So I'll let it fill up. And let these kind of dig down closer. But yeah. I already 8,000. And all that's getting saved. All that's being saved. Oh forgot this guy. Come on give me a multi one. 500, that's going to go into the one of the other ones. Or no, it'll just get wasted in one of the other ones, because they're already getting a 1,000. Well, I could give it to that one that has the Lumberjack maxed out, because I can definitely tell which one that one is. It's always sitting on full. Yeah. So, right here. Now, it won't take it all, but it'll fill it up, which is a good thing. And then I can sit here and do this. Oh, didn't even fill it up. Oh, because this one has high storage. But yeah. And if you're wondering how you should upgrade mount castles for maximum production and most efficiency while offline. If you're looking for efficiency right away because you're going to be online, you're going to babysit it. Then I would go ahead and upgrade the ore mines for it first. Get the storage just to like level 10, 12, somewhere where they can hold about, you know, 2,000 resource. I like getting them personally to level 11. Yeah, level 11. So they can hold around 2,000, and you can build up the production for it. Because once I get it to 18, this thing will pretty much stay full, and I'll be able to upgrade the storage. But I really, I really like getting them up real quick, because that's how you can just start upgrading all the other stuff. Like, because it'll take no time to gain resources. And if you're going to be babysitting it, like, overnight, it's a little bit wasteful. But think about it over the course of being able to upgrade. And once I get these all to, once I get these all to 20, I'm going to, I'm going to then just leave it at that and then start upgrading the storage again. And if you're wondering why I'm spending every little drop of gold on finishing this, is because right now, you know, it seems like a good idea. And now, of course, when I get it down to that where it can decently wait, well, I'm going to do one more finish. And see, my internet's slow. I was up on a trip and my internet was really fast, but now my internet is super slow. So, loading times will be galore. Uh, yeah, that'll take about two hours, and it won't fill up for another two hours. Oh, you're full. I need to get your storages up so I can give you a thousand without you overfilling. Because that's a fast way to grow. Just pop them a thousand and then upgrade the little ones. Yeah, yep. But yeah, I want to get these at least to level 100 so they look like the other ones. Although these ones are going to be in a lot better shape because I'm not focusing on any upgrades but necessities. Like, you know, get those pumps up, get those storages up, you know. I'm not really focusing on any of the small upgrades that the architect does. So these ones at level 100 are going to be better than my level 100 other castles. Because I'm not even worrying about upgrading them right now because they'll just get trained to max. I'm trying to do this with spending as little gold as possible, but 
it's important to get these leveled up so I can start upgrading them. Because the more upgrades I get done now, the less I have to do when I, uh, when I finally get ready to build that fort. And one thing I am going to be upgrading is this. Because I need to build a store at least enough gold, at least 100,000. Which I think I can store 100,000 now. Not really sure. But anyways. Anyways, thank you for watching. This has been episode 2. I just wanted to show you my progress today in taking the 15 castles. It was actually... It was actually a lot, a lot more harder than I thought. Because it involved a lot of this. I wanted all my silver to come back at the same time. So I had to line it up by doing this. And just a lot of that. One little gold. Well, that wasn't nothing. Oh, that's just the hand carts returning from the bag. <laughs> okay, but a lot of that. And it goes up about 100. But way cheaper than buying the resources. Because that is worth about 25 in resources. Yeah, it's exactly 25 in resources, and you get it for one minute. It's less than an hour away. So, you know, that's pretty good. You do that 10 times, that's 250 gold. You do it 20, you know, it just keeps on adding up on how much gold you're technically getting instantly by instantly finishing that. That's why I do that. You know, it's very cheap. It, sure, if you do it a thousand times, it would cost a thousand gold. But a thousand times would equal up to at a hundred and seventy. Oh, I guess it. Well, a hundred times would be sixteen thousand. So yeah, so I guess it'd be sixteen thousand resource. Sixteen thousand resource for one thousand gold. <laughs> Not really much better, but a little bit. It's about six. It's about six, six, six. It's six thousand, six thousand, and six thousand more. It's a six, six, six. This is a satanic ritual. It's a satanic ritual. You're only getting 18,000 more, but it's 666, guys. Okay, it's not exactly 666. It would actually be like 690 or so. It's not evil. Just saying. But just thinking about that, you know, just doing the rounding the math out in my head. If you round it out, it's evil. But not really, because 6,000, 6,000, 6,000 isn't 666. It's just a sequence of sixes. And not even sixes. It's thousands. <laughs> Anyways. Let's uh, let's end it at me being ri ridiculous. Yeah, you thought I was going to say it, didn't you? You thought I was going to say the no-no word. That's you for having a bad mind. Have a good one. Peace out.